what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to add isolated foundation to our model okay so let's get started so from the structure tab foundation so there is the isolated foundation okay so let's click that and then from the options here so we will be using uh pile cap to pile this one and then after that we're going to use also the pile cap for pile okay so let's use first the pile cap to pile so let's click that and then just like your columns so you also have an option here to place your isolated foundation at grids and also at columns okay so Let's try to place it at the structural column. So I'm going to select this. Okay, and then after that, as you can see, I have columns here, right? So those are the columns. So let's say that is where I want to place my pile caps. Okay, so I'm going to use a selection method like this, window selection. And there you go. So I just created my pile caps. Okay, and then after that, you can select here, uh, finish. Okay, you can still modify that. So let's go to the modify tool to terminate it. So let's say what I want to do is I want to move this. I want the, cent the center of this area here of this pile cap to be snapped at the center of the column here. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select this pile cap and then move and then I can type SC SC stands for snap to center okay so it's like the OSNAP in in AutoCAD so if you want to snap at the at the center of a circle so you can type SE before you pick the base point okay so I'm gonna type SE and then move your pointer to the circle and then you will now see the center mark is snap so you just click that okay and then after that again if ever you don't have the reference for the center of the circle you just type again s c okay but in this case there's already the intersection there so i can just click to place it there you go and then i'll select here modify now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a window selection like this and then let's check that out in the 3D view selection box and that's how it looks like right so there's now my uh, pile cap okay so another way of creating my uh, pile caps placing the pile caps is of course you can just put it manually Okay, so you can select isolated foundation again, and then using the same type, I can put it here. Let's say I want this to be vertical. So before you place it, you can press space bar. So every time you press space bar, it will rotate your model, not only your pile cap, but other families as well. So when you press the space bar, so let's say I'm just going to pick somewhere here, just like that. Okay, so just pick. So in this exercise, the location is not that critical. So we are just learning how to place our pile cap. So I'm going to put one here. Then I'm going to put one here as well. Okay, so I'm doing it manually. So I'll do that also on the southeast of my building. So let's put there. Okay, and then one here and then one here right okay so let's select here uh, modify so let's check this out in the 3d view so let's select this area and then let's select here uh, selection box and there you go right okay and you can also change the offset of your model of your pile cap so let's say I'm going to select this uh, four pile cap and then I can change the offset level here so let's say I'm gonna type here minus 18 inches 
and then apply and there you go it will now go down because remember our foundation slab here is 18 inches so i just move it below okay you can also use a line tool here if you want so you can use the align tool so you can go to the modify you can go to the align tool and then you can select this face here and then you can select the face of your pile cap okay so let's say this face and then this face here so you get the idea right that one that one uh, yep that's the one so this one to this one okay so something like that so you can use your align tool as well now um, let us put the rest of our pile cup so I'm going to select again the structure tab and then select isolated using the pile cap tool so I'll be using here um, at columns click that you know already how to use at grids it will place at the intersection of the grid so now I'm using at columns option so let's select this I'm gonna I'm gonna select the side columns there you go the problem is I need to rotate these columns those are uh, columns that I place vertically so here there you go okay oh and don't forget to finish because it disappears so don't forget to hold control when adding okay because it will disappear if you didn't uh, hold control that's the one and then finish and then modify now for these columns uh, these pile caps here I can select multiple and then just press uh, space bar so I'm gonna select these pile caps and then hold control select oops all right okay so let's use a window selection like this and then let's use a filter we only need the the foundation and then okay then press space bar to rotate at once there you go okay and then let me just add a more isolated foundation add columns to this area here alrighty and then finish click so let's click this oops all right so instead of clicking it one by one I'll just use filter so select and then filter so structural foundation and then okay and then in press space bar there you go okay so now I'm gonna let me just copy this columns or this uh, foundation and put it on to the opposite side so I'll filter that foundation only and then I'm going to copy this to so use the copy tool I'm gonna pick and then place it here yeah somewhere there all right okay and then after that let's use the other type of uh, pile cap so let's go to isolated foundation so let's use here a uh, pile cap for pile 79 79 35 so just click that and then again add columns so I will be selecting these columns here like that finish and add columns so let's select this here so by this time I think you already know the idea on how to do that so you can hold control pan your drawing and then hold control pan your drawing and then select Then after that finish so that's it so let's go to the modify to terminate the tool and then let's check that in 3d view and then let's turn off 
the section box to show the whole model there you go okay again if you want to offset your model you can select all your foundation you can do like this uh, this is another way so you can click one foundation so right click and then you can select create uh, I mean uh, select all instances visible in view so you click that and it will now select all the same type and then you can change now the offset here so let's say uh, minus 18 inches as well enter and it will now go down and let's do that also to this type to our two pile cap type so click right click uh, select all instances visible in view and then let's change the height to minus 18 inches then apply there you go all right okay so that's how you play around with your uh, isolated foundation okay so that's it for this exercise so hopefully you learned something thank you for watching have a nice day